after sailing for about seven days, we have finally arrived at Falklands Islands. We are heading our way up, and uh, before that, we uh, made a stop here at the, um, you know, not popular but unpopular in the 1980s Falklands Islands during the Falklands War or um, Islas Malvinas like they call it in Spanish or especially in Argentina and uh, we are going to do a tour and basically waiting for our boat uh, our ship as you can see is quite large and it cannot get into the port it's pretty narrow as you can see and it would not be able to make it through so that's going to be uh, an experience unto itself. And apart from that, we're going to check out the tour. We're going to check out parts of the Falklands Islands. There are several tours when you are on a cruise that you can choose from. Uh, many of them are like $100 and up. So they are quite costly. Um, and some of them are worth it. Some of them I think are not so worth it. But since I am with my father, we decided to go for a tour. And um, yeah, the, the population here is mostly like 3,500 from what I, I've Googled. We'll try to make sure if that is correct, but not a lot of houses. So this, this might just be about all there is as far as housing and things like that. Uh, right now it's about 9.30. Uh, our tour starts around 10.30, or at least we have to be ready to take the boat. And uh, this ferry ride, it's like 45 minutes they mentioned. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. And in case you have no idea who I am, I'm Jairo. I make Aruba content, occasionally travel content. And this is one of them. Uh, I'm doing a South American um, trip this year. So if, you have, if this is the first video and you haven't seen the, the previous videos, I have videos on Antarctica, I have videos on Chile and much more. Check them out. I'll leave the link somewhere up here. And uh, yeah, we'll be checking out the island in just a bit. Now we are following the line to get off the ship. And uh, we are going to get off at the midship, more or less. We're following these folks. And the tour that we're going to take is the city tour uh, combined with the museum. So it's not a very long tour. And it's going to be in Spanish because we couldn't find any other. And we don't mind that. We speak Spanish, of course, but I mean, uh, there were many other options. Unfortunately, they were all booked by the time we got to book this one. Uh, nothing we could do about that. <laughs> Wow, first impression, uh, it looks really nice actually. And uh, we're just at the port, so it's not supposed to be. But uh, we're gonna gather up with uh, group number two. So we made a stop here to check out the view of the cruise ship back here somewhere, like over here, pretty nice view. And uh, where we can see again why it didn't go in. So the tender boats are coming in. There's one right now. And uh, more or less on this side is where we picked up the tour bus. We're gonna continue now. This is a tour for about two hours, so not too long. 
So we stop here to check out the Lady Elizabeth boat. Uh, it's got a very interesting story behind it. I'm gonna try to find it again, but from what I understood from the guide, uh, from the tour guide is that um, like in the 1982 war with Argentina, uh, there were some British forces hiding in it. <laughs> it's checking, you know, doing some uh, counterintelligence. So they were hiding in it and um, that, that story is pretty, sounds pretty interesting. And uh, it's just a beautiful view also of the Port Stanley where we were, uh, at, like where we took the bus for the tour. We've now stopped at this totem pole that um, it's got some interesting views around it, but this is the actual totem pole. Everybody taking pictures here and see from where everyone is. So Southampton, Alaska, <laughs> Liverpool, and so many, many others. And our next stop now is, let me put this one, oh, because of the wind mostly, it's not very cold at all, actually. And uh, checking out some whales, whale bones. Oh, that's so, uh, so sad to, to read this. Uh, an unbelievable 20,000 whales. We made a stop here briefly at a museum, but they are giving us like just five minutes to do this one. And it's just, it makes no sense. And supposedly we are fairly close to the port, so we can walk to the port in uh, like 10 minutes or so. But my father cannot walk so fast. So I think we're gonna kind of like skip this one. The place looks beautiful though. But we're gonna skip this one and see if we can go watch some depending. It's a pretty neat cafe though. Don't way. This is the driving side. No, that way. <laughs> it's a pretty tour. It's a pretty tour. See. Here. <laughs> on this one. So there's a. <laughs> we were laughing. We're we're getting in on the driver's side, but this is British uh, <laughs> right hand side. Uh, So part of the drama is uh, that I did not film it, but we were finished with our previous tour, which is from the ship uh, officially. It's like an official uh, tour from the ship. And uh, we heard about uh, watching some penguins here, uh, but we could not book it. And they told us that there are some buses at the end of the, uh, the tour that you can take some buses. We get out of our bus, and we were not able to get tickets. So uh, we were very disappointed as well as some other folks that are right now with us. And uh, some guy heard, it, heard about it and he was very kind to uh, bring us with a bus, of course, uh, paid service, but uh, very kind because then we are hopefully gonna get to see some penguins. And we are at a beach right now that looks 
really nice and coming from Aruba that is saying something but on the other hand I think it's pretty cold take a look so that uh, I did ask the bus driver and he said yeah some some folks do swim here but it does get very very cold and uh, I just noticed the the name of it York Bay But what a beautiful looking beach. Oh, wow. oh, the penguins are in here. So this is uh, apparently where they lay their eggs, uh, right here. I'll look down and see if I can see it. Oh, uh, yeah. So all of this is just uh, along the trail. I had no idea we were gonna see this. So this is certainly a bonus. There are so many nests around here, but not all of them with penguins in it. And uh, we do try to um, keep our distance. like this because I think it's you know like marked so we stay outside of the area I think that's very nice what they have done here and uh, our bus is somewhere back there we are walking along this trail yeah, it's very leisurely walk so far or hike very beautiful looking stones So there are quite a few of them, and which is uh, kind of surprising. Uh, didn't know what to expect, uh, not saying that it shouldn't be, but there are quite a few and just beautiful beaches. I had never heard of them. Of course, it's very cold, nobody's swimming there and you're not allowed to swim here, I don't think. But I did ask and on the other side, you uh, could if you wanted to. Maybe here also, who knows, but it's beautiful. It's, it's, the water is, looks amazing, everything. I spotted one over here just a moment ago. I don't see it anymore, but there were like three here. There are at least, <laughs> I see one over there. There's at least four over there and one down here somewhere. That's just sunbathing. It is a fairly beautiful day from what you understood for the Falkland Islands. And uh, uh, what it is, it's windy. So the close-up shots are a little bit shaky <laughs> because I do try to zoom as much as I can. And that's... Uh, that can get complicated because my other camera doesn't have the stabilizer so sometimes the shots are not as stable as I would like them to be. So as I was filming the penguins and uh, checking out the beach and everything I heard like jet engines like really loud and I didn't understand what was going on. So I looked up and the images that you're gonna look next is what I saw, two fighter jets and I'd had like, you know, bad dreams of the invasion of 1982. And uh, that's something, so of course, that none of us uh, would wish for to happen, to lose lives in wars. And hopefully uh, there are no more wars wars here and nowhere around the, the world uh, it's one thing that i really believe in peace and so we can travel and learn about other cultures other people and uh, not trying to change them but trying to understand why and where they come from why they are where they are um, so yeah it, it did give me chills for a moment there and we just are checking out some of the artillery that they had also 
to defend or, you know, yeah, you could say like to defend this part of the Falklands, which is uh, just outside of uh, Port Stanley, uh, maybe like a 20 minute drive. Oh, Papa is almost falling. It's very, very windy. Very, very windy. But I'm going to put a sheet in it. I'm in the know. After that very interesting trip to check out the penguins, we are just briefly checking out now some parts of the city before we head back to our ship. And right now we are at an Angelican, Angelican church. Don't know if we can get inside. having some problems with the camera today <laughs> so hopefully uh, the videos are coming out okay and then I'm not losing any files I'm doing the last few walk arounds uh, in the city not too far from where we need to go get back to the boat appreciating all of the the moments that I am able to experience here it's been uh, it's been a very very interesting and it sure has surprised me. I'm not sure, however, that I would come here so easily on a vacation because getting here is very, very difficult. There are very few flights a month, so that would be a very tough thing to do. But certainly on a cruise ship, uh, I'd be uh, happy to experience this one again. Oh, look at that. I do believe that's a shipping uh, boat. Let's see if we can get a beer here. It says a Globe Tavern. Yeah, I was a little bit full, so I think I am heading back to... <laughs> I'm getting back to uh, meet up with my father who's waiting for me. And I uh, hope you did like this episode. Uh, I certainly had a great time here in Falklands Islands and uh, especially here in Port Stanley and uh, still enjoying the last few minutes here. And we're going to catch the boat to go back to the ship and enjoy the rest of our cruise. Be pending for more videos from South America, guys. I will have one more one more video and uh, and then i'll fly on to europe see you next time guys bye bye you have to embrace the falklands hairdo that's, right. <laughs> <Wonderful>. <laughs> yeah, that's true <laughs>